If you want to go ahead and skip this, then go ahead to the timestamps down below, but I really need to get something off my chest. If you're coming here from another channel that you absolutely love, you love that YouTuber, and you come in my comment section and you either tell me to be more like that YouTuber, or you go ahead and promote their code in my comment section, not only will I delete your comment, but I'm going to block you. Because that's just straight up rude and tacky. Another issue I had to deal with when I did my other Dupe Wars video between the Luna palette and the Whimsical palette was a whole issue of pricing. This palette right here costs $9.50 on ccolorcosmetics.com. Now this company offers affiliate codes to YouTubers, and I've seen a few of them on YouTube. I'm not going to promote someone else's affiliate code. I'm going to tell you how much the palette costs, which is $9.50. Now when it comes to Philly codes. Most of them on YouTube, at least the ones I've seen, are 10% off. When you take 10% off this palette, that brings this palette to, yes, a lesser price, but then it means that you're paying for shipping. So I just wanted to let you guys know that, and now it's time to dive back into the video. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Chris, and today we are having another dupe war video between the Sahara palette by Face Candy Makeup and the Frost palette by C color cosmetics so it's about to go down we're gonna find out which palette is better than the other and there's gonna be no hard feelings hopefully and of course if you like what you see or if you love what you see you can feel free to click that subscribe button and join the chrismo family and you can hit the bell button so that you know when i come out with more videos also you guys i do have my one year anniversary giveaway going on right now on my channel so you can click the link that's gonna pop up right now and you can go ahead and find out the details to that giveaway okay guys so we have the sahara and we have the frost i do not own kylie's the nice palette because at that time it wasn't buying makeup I was too busy paying a whole bunch of bills and being an adult and adulting which kind of sucks sometimes but I did snag up the Sahara palette as soon as I saw it on the Shop Plush app because I was like oh my god this is so beautiful and I loved it I loved everything about it I mean I haven't hit the pan on anything because I have too many palettes but it is a beautiful palette now the frost palette recently came out I got it a while ago and I have been playing with it both palettes are cruelty free both palettes are made in BRC aka China both palettes have a shelf life of 12 months and both palettes contain talc and mica this is how the Sahara palette looks and this is how the frost palette looks the Frost palette packaging looks very similar to the original Nice palette packaging that Kylie first came out with. She recently revamped it, so it's like a black, I think, palette now. But in the beginning, it was very similar colors, so I will give the upper hand to Frost palette when it comes to that. But the Sahara palette gets some kudu points for me because it does come in a box, and I really appreciate when it comes in a box. The Frost palette, however, comes in a little plastic thing. You guys already know how I feel about these. I hate these. But if it doesn't bother you, then just ignore everything I just Set. The back of these palettes are a bit different. The Sahara palette gives squares with the names of every shadow. It does give a little bit of information when it comes to the company, whereas the Frost palette gives all the ingredients, it gives a little bit of information, and that's it. In the back of the box of the Sahara palette, it does give the ingredients. Both palettes come with a mirror, and both fold all the way back. In terms of size, the Frost palette is just a tiny bit smaller than the Sahara palette. But as for the width, the Frost palette is just a little bit chunkier. In terms of weight, you're getting a little bit more in the Sahara palette. This is 13.86 grams, and this is 12 grams. And here are the palettes side by side. So they obviously look identical. If you check KaliCosmetics.com, you can see the shadows of the Nice palette, and you're going to see that these look very dead on. I'm going to bring this up close so you guys get a better look. Now, in case you didn't catch it, the Sahara palette has names for the shadows, and the Frost palette does not. So I did go ahead and do side-by-side -side swatches. Before I show you the pre-recorded ones, though, I want to go ahead and show you some live. With clean fingers, I'm going to go ahead and take this color from Sahara. And I'm going to take the same color from the Frost palette. And let's swatch it right here. Here is the Sahara one. Here is the Frost. Obviously, they are very, very different. However, I'm wearing both of these on my eyes. And can you tell the difference? Next up, I'm going to take this white shimmer. So, so pretty. Same thing with the Frost palette. I'm going to put them right here. Here is the Sahara one. And here is the Frost one. You can see that the Sahara one is crazy pigmented. And the Frost one is not so much. Next up, let's take this pale pink from Sahara and the same color in Frost. I'm going to swatch it right here. We have the Sahara one 
and the frost one. And yet again, the Sahara one is more pigmented in the swatch. I'm gonna take one more. Let's take this beautiful gold shimmer. Same thing for C color. Right here. Oops. <laughs> I put it in between that one. My mistake. And that one. Okay, here they are right here. Those are pretty much dead on. You can see both of them, so I was happy to see that when I had done the pre-recorded swatches. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you all of the swatches. On the left-hand side, I have the Face Candy Sahara palette, and on the right-hand side, I have the Frost palette by C Color Cosmetics. All swatches were only swatched one time. So based off of the swatches, you guys, I could pretty much tell that when it comes to the Frost palette, I'm probably going to have to build up more color to get it to match up to the Sahara palette. Now, honestly, swatches can be very deceiving. Sometimes swatches can look horrible and they look beautiful on the eyes. But when it comes to pigment in the swatch, it could kind of tell you a little bit of what to expect with the palette. And that was exactly the case when it came to this matchup. So now is the time to go ahead and see these two palettes duke it out. I only use a three brushes, two from BH Cosmetics and one from the crayon case. I just use my clay sweep so I can use the same brush for each eye and just quickly dust off whatever color from every palette. On my list, there is only concealer and nothing more because I wanted to see exactly how the palettes perform all on their own without any added help. Oh my god, like where did that black dot come from? Was that there the whole time? <laughs> oh my god, that's gonna be so annoying. Did I like touch something? Where did this come from? <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, the black dot is gone. In the eye battle, I'm only comparing how many times I have to go back in the pans to create each eye look. So it's pretty much comparing how much product I have to use for each palette. And then at the end of this, I'm going to make a decision as to which palette won.
also so this is a very close battle you guys it wasn't an easy obvious choice like the whimsical palette versus the luna palette so the winner of this battle is the sahara palette now the frost palette is very very good the sahara one won because the shimmers were just a bit more pigmented now remember i did use a dry brush i didn't wet any brushes this shimmer on the inner corner of my eye just looks more pigmented versus this one which just looks a little bit more sheer i did have to dip back into the frost palette a few more times to get it to match up to the sahara pigmentation which means i'm going to be using more product from this palette the proof is in the pudding you guys saw it yourself you guys saw how many times i had to go into each palette i mean honestly both sides look so so beautiful either way this is a very very good dupe and let me tell you something right now this is the only dupe available for the nice palette by Kylie Cosmetics unless there's another brand that I don't know about this is the only dupe right now that is currently available because the Sahara palette is no longer available on the Shop Hush app. It is all sold out and right now Shop Hush is shutting down until further notice. If you have this palette, you don't need this one. This one's a very good dupe and it is better than this one in my opinion. But if you weren't able to snag this palette from the Shop Hush app and you do want a dupe of the Nice palette by Kylie, then I would suggest getting the Frost palette because this is a very good dupe for it. You are definitely going to be able to achieve the same eye looks. You're definitely going to have beautiful eye looks with this palette. So if you are interested in that, I would highly suggest to go get it. Again, it costs $9.50 on their website. That is my final thoughts. That is the verdict of this battle let me know all of your thoughts down below we don't have to agree on everything you guys if you disagree with me that's cool as long as we're all respectful in the comments then it's a go so i'll see you guys in the comment section and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye